Hello, I'm Stan Stovall of WBAL TV 11 News. I know these issues are hard to think about and discuss, but it's important to be sure you and your loved ones are taken care of properly. With all of the technological advances in healthcare, it's more important now than ever. Let's talk about a new form that can be of use to you. It's a medical orders for life-sustaining treatment form, or MOLST form for short. That's M-O-L-S-T. The MOLST form is a medical order signed by a physician, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant, which affirms your wishes in regard to a set of medical interventions related to your current medical condition. Because it is a standard form and only two pages, in a crisis, medical providers can quickly glance at the MOLST form and see what choices you have made. The MOLST form contains medical orders regarding whether you want cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, and whether you want other life-sustaining treatments related to your current medical condition. The most forms orders are based on your consent or the consent of your authorized decision maker if you can no longer make decisions for yourself. The most orders can also be based on your advanced directives instructions. You should discuss with your physician, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant what option regarding CPR makes the most sense for you given your medical condition and your goals for your care. If you do choose a DNR order, you may wish to discuss with your healthcare provider whether you should get a DNR or MOLST bracelet. You should understand the differences between an advanced directive and a MOLST form. A MOLST form contains medical orders that are relevant to your current medical condition. An advanced directive contains preferences about treatments sometime in the future. An advanced directive is not a medical order. It does not stop emergency medical service providers from attempting cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. In fact, emergency medical service providers are required to attempt CPR unless there is a no CPR order or a signed most order form. For example, suppose I'm at home and I have chest pains. I ask my wife to call 911. By the time the ambulance arrives, I've lost consciousness. The emergency medical technicians rush in and my wife says, here's his advanced directive. He does not want to be resuscitated. Well, the EMS providers will still proceed to do everything they can to revive me because the advanced directive is not a medical order. However, the most form is a medical order and all healthcare providers are required by law to follow it. The most form makes it clear to family, friends, and caregivers what medical treatments you want or do not want. It can prevent arguments. It can relieve the people you care most about from the burden of making that very difficult decision. The most form goes where you go, to the hospital, to rehab, to assisted living, nursing home, dialysis center, and back home. And it's reviewed every time your medical situation changes. When a most form is filled out, your provider will only complete those parts of the form about which you have made decisions. Filling out a MOLST form is completely voluntary, but if you don't fill out a MOLST form, everyone will assume that you want every treatment available, like CPR, machines to help you breathe, or blood transfusions. Ask your doctor, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant if a MOLST form is appropriate for you or your loved one. You can learn more about MOLST by going to the Maryland MOLST webpage. That's MarylandMOLST, all one word, dot org. Again, MarylandMOLST.org.